you are doing email marketing, then the chances are at some point you will run into issues with something inside your mailer triggering a spam filter. This can result in your recipients not seeing your lovingly crafted mailer because their spam filter has delivered it into the junk folder. Now avoiding the junk folder is critical if you want your mailer to deliver those all important sales conversions. It doesn't matter how great your offer is, if people aren't seeing it, then they aren't going to convert into sales. Making your mailer spam friendly can be a process of trial and error though. It can be tricky to get it right. Fear not though, help is at hand. Here at Email Blaster, we see thousands of campaigns each week. This means that we see what really works with email marketing and what other successful marketers are doing to avoid the junk folder. Now we're going to share with you the top five tips. If you implement these quick and easy tips for your next email marketing campaign, then you will see a real boost in those sales conversions. Follow these and let your email marketing successfully deliver its contents to your recipients. This plays a huge part in making sure that the message gets through the spam filters. Spam filter will look at your email sending address. If they think it looks really salesy or generic, they'll class it as spam and drop it straight into the junk folder. We've seen some really great marketing campaigns fall foul of this. It's a quick and simple fix though. Don't send out your email marketing with a generic address, such as sales at, marketing at, or even worse, no reply at. You should always send from your name at, for example, John at. Campaigns sent from a generic address often just end up in the junk. If you try this on your next campaign, you'll see a big difference straight away in your stats. If you are sending using third-party email software, you are really going to want to do this. It makes a huge difference with inbox placement. Verifying your domain name involves adding an SPF and a DKIM signature to your company domain name. Don't worry though, this is pretty quick and easy to do and in most cases, it's simply a case of cutting and pasting the info into your domain settings. By doing this, it adds a seal of authenticity to your sending domain. Modern email browsers will all wanna see this in place to deliver your email to the inbox. It's a really quick and simple thing to implement and makes a huge difference. Having this helps to pass the security measures that all modern email browsers employ. Again, another really quick and simple fix to put in place, but also often it's overlooked. Spam filters are on the lookout for anything that looks like it might be a sales email. One of the things they look for is the message size. One of the things that can really bump the file size of the message is having images in it that aren't optimized. Optimizing means making sure that the image file sizes aren't too large. Typically, each image wants to be no more than about 100 kilobytes. Sometimes, it can only be one large image that triggers a spam filter. The fix for this is to use an image optimizing service such as tinypng.com or software such as Photoshop. Both of these applications will resave your images in a condensed form with a much smaller file size. Here at Email Blaster, we've seen some really great looking email marketing that has suffered from this one. So with your next email marketing campaign, make sure you optimize your images and you'll benefit from that big boost you'll get in your open rate. Spam filters will read all of the text in your email and if it contains spam phrases, they'll deliver it to the junk filter. They reference your text against thousands of stored phrases. Typically, these are words that will appear in a sales email. For example, free, promotion, discount, that kind of thing. Here at Email Blaster, our software has a spam checker app. This makes life so much easier. It will scan your email and let you know if you have any phrases that are likely to trigger a spam. Whilst it's great to have a decent number of email addresses in your data lists, it is also important to make sure that all of these addresses are valid. If your email marketing campaigns get quite a few bounces, then this will affect your future delivery. Email spam filters will be able to see your sender score. This is a percentage rating. The sender score applies to your email marketing campaign with each send. If your email marketing is receiving lots of failed deliveries like bounces, this will lower your sender score and it will have a dramatic effect on your future delivery. This is why it's a good idea to go through your data and delete any old addresses. 
Luckily, if you're an Email Blaster user, then our software will take care of all of this for you. When you import a new list, it runs a validation check on all addresses. Any dead or non-responsive email addresses will be deleted at the point of import. All of these five points are easy to implement with your next email marketing campaign. And as we've discussed today, you'll see a big jump in your stats. Now I hope you've got some useful ideas from this video. Employ them with your next email marketing campaign and you will see a difference. Now thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful and informative. And if you are not already an Email Blaster user, then feel free to try the software and see how you get on with your next campaign. Thank you. Goodbye.